In this video, I'll talk about the Upright feature in Camera Raw. Upright will allow you to straighten your photos and correct perspective issues. While there are ways to do this manually in Camera Raw and in Photoshop, the great thing about Upright is that it analyzes our photos and makes an automatic correction for us with a simple click. Here in Bridge, I'll select these four photos to work with by clicking on the first and then holding the Shift key down as I click on the last. Next, I'll right click or control click if you have a one button mouse and choose open in camera raw. I'll select this first photo to work with first. Upright is located on the lens corrections panel on the manual tab. But before we get to this, I highly recommend that you enable profile corrections here on the profile tab. As I toggle this on and then off and back on again, you see that Camera Raw corrects some lens distortion as well as vignetting or darkening around the corners. Notice that Camera Raw has detected my lens and applied the correct profile. Doing this first gives Upright a better starting point. Now let's go to Upright on the Manual tab. We have four options, Auto, Level, Vertical, and Full. As I click on it, Level will simply straighten the photo. Vertical will fully correct the vertical keystoning or tilting in of the lines and level the photo. Notice as I click on it that it corrects the lines to technically straight, but the columns look much taller when I do this. If I'd like to see a grid as I'm doing this work, I can check the show grid box and adjust the slider to make the squares smaller or larger. You can also toggle the grid on and off with a shortcut V as in Victor. I'll leave it off now that you've seen it. Back to Upright Options. Full is a combination of leveling and correcting both vertical and horizontal perspective. Watch the photo as I click on it and you'll see it tilt a bit to the right to compensate for me not having shot the building straight on. Auto, as I click on it, will both level and apply a more conservative perspective correction. In this case, it achieves a really nice balance so that you can see it again. I'll go back to Off and then Auto. Having the vertical lines still tilt in a bit often looks more realistic than the full adjustment does because as we look up at a building, we do experience converging lines. I'll often click through these different options on a photo and just go with whichever looks best to me. When I settle on the one I like most, I can still come down to the transform sliders and refine it. Maybe I want to fix the vertical perspective on this photo just a little bit more. Or if I go with Full, and the vertical elements have become stretched out too much, I'll use the Aspect slider to widen them back out. I'll select Auto again since it's my preference for this photo. Notice that when I choose an upright option, it undoes any manual transform that I've done. In this case, when I clicked on Auto again, it undid my aspect adjustment. It also undoes any crop that I've done before trying upright. It does this because the best starting point for Upright is an uncropped and untransformed photo. However, if you would like to preserve any prior crop or transform that you did, hold down the Alt key on Windows or the Option key on Mac as you choose an Upright option. Often when you fix perspective issues, you'll end up with a transparent border because part of the photo becomes pinched in. Simply select the Crop tool, click and drag to define a crop, and then drag the edges to refine it, and then hit Enter or Return to complete the crop. Alternatively, you could open the photo into Photoshop and use its clone tools to fill in the transparent area. Let's correct another photo. I'll correct this door, and then we'll look at how to sync or copy our upright corrections to other photos. Let's first go to the Profile tab and enable Profile Corrections. With this particular photo, Camera Raw is having trouble reading the camera metadata, so I'll nudge it a bit by selecting Canon as the make of the lens. Now it properly detects the lens and applies the profile. Now go to the Manual tab and try each upright option. And I'll settle on Auto. Now let's look at copying these settings to the Windows Photos. I'll keep this photo selected and I'll add these other two photos to my selection by holding down the Shift key as I click on the last one. Now, if these photos were related and shot at the same angle, such as photos from a time-lapse series or HDR exposures, for example, 
and I therefore wanted to copy the exact amount of leveling and perspective correction from this first photo to others, I would click on this Sync Results button. Of course, these photos are not related or shot at the same angle, so instead what we want to do is copy the upright mode that we used on the first photo, which was Auto, and have Camera Raw calculate appropriate image-specific auto solutions for the other photos. To do this, I'll click on this Synchronize button here in the top left. Camera Raw is asking me, of all the changes I could have made to the first photo, which ones should be synced to the two additional photos? I'll start by clearing out all the boxes by checking None, and I'll choose Just Transform, which will copy the upright mode and Lens Profile Corrections. I'll click on OK. I'll select this second photo. You'll see that it copied the auto selection, and I get a great result. And we can see this on the third photo as well. This one needs a little bit of tweaking. Finally, I could select one or more photos and choose Open Images to open those photos into Photoshop to do more work. Or I can simply click on Done to save my work to all of these photos and return to Bridge. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson on the Upright feature, and I encourage you to watch the other tutorials.